Well, it seems like all irrational fear fears these days have become rational fears. <laughs> One of my writers had gone to his therapist. She uh, diagnosed him with a trait which he said he, he thought I shared, which was crippling empathy. <laughs> <laughs> which, <laughs> which I think is at least half a compliment and is in fact often, I think, like one of my greatest traits as an editor because it's so hard. I know this so well. It's so hard to be edited. It's like, you know, people slowly pulling your guts out um, one word at a time. And I think that my crippling empathy makes me a little more sensitive to that fact. Well, it seems like all irrational fear, fears these days have become rational fears. <laughs> so there's like nothing left that um, couldn't happen, it seems. But I recently was talking to my mother and she convinced me that like some pimples on your face turn into just like flesh eating, like viral infections. And so now I'm afraid of pimples. <laughs> I once had a coworker describe me, the head of fact checking at the New Yorker, described me as a beast of efficiency, <laughs> which I took to be a great compliment. Um, I do sort of get into this zone of uh, editing or reading humor submissions where I, you know, look at my watch and realize I haven't stood up in five hours and I can't film my toes anymore and I'm like so dehydrated. But I think it's good because so much of my job is just sorting through an endless deluge of people coming up with on the spot creative responses to the news and the world and um, you sort of have to be a little bit tireless to, to keep sledging through it. Daily mantras. I once had an editor who gave me back a proof of a piece I was working on that I'd written and the post-it note on the proof said, don't fret about any of this, <laughs> which I think like is, is a mantra I return to and even saying it over and over again to myself I think gets me down to fretting about 75% of everything um, but yeah don't fret about any of this is a good one my brain has been so scattershot the past few months I'm like ridiculously slowly working my way through Ozark <laughs> which is uh, very enjoyable and I have become sort of uh, paranoically obsessed with the fact that it's the same show as Shit's Creek, but a drama, but like everything else is the same, <laughs> that it's this family that falls from grace economically and moves to the boonies and then like hilarity slash a lot of murder ensues. <laughs>